Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Tatiana. <laughs> Hi. I loved Under Wraps. I had so much fun uh, reliving my uh, my youth. Uh, so had you guys seen the original Under Wraps, uh, or did you only want to take inspiration from the script and Alex? Yeah, I, I was familiar with the older movie, um, but I had not watched it. Um, so when they uh, casted me for the role, I said, you know, I, I'll go ahead and take a look at the movie and do a little homework or whatnot. But approaching uh, our version of it, I definitely only implemented what I was able to bring to the table. So, um, which was great, which is, I felt comfortable in and Alex made it um, achievable as well. Yeah, you did very well. Uh, <laughs> Malachi, how did you handle the uh, adaptive nature of the work? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so when, I mean, obviously I was going kind of back to the, the original. I mean, I'm, I'm 14. I, I wasn't really part of that generation. I was born in 2007, uh, not 1997. <laughs> but um, no, but um, I did end up watching the original when I first got the audition to do a little bit of homework, but I still kind of, I, I wanted to make it my own, but I also wanted to stick mainly to the, like, to still to, almost the exact ish storyline of Marshall because I didn't want to make any of like the OG fans mad, but I also wanted to add my own little fla flair. I love that. Um, I also uh, Phil love just the, just this fine line that you danced between, <laughs> between, you know, humanizing Harold and then just really just letting him mummy out. So, yeah. and I, I believe Alex said you guys even had like the grunts are a language of their own. Can you talk about really yeah, communicating? Alex was very specific on expressing uh, how Harold was going to relate to these kids, you know, and we actually had to create our own language. You know, although I didn't have any dialogue in the script, um, we sort of created this emotion that, you know, that could be relatable. You know, and as far as the dancing is concerned, hey, look, I'm a pro, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, <Phil. laughs> we get it, bro. <laughs> we love that for you. <laughs> Malachi, I love uh, Marshall's mom and boyfriend, even though Marshall did not love that so much at first. Can you talk about the journey he goes through in his family dynamic and maybe how meeting Harold helps? Yeah, so um, kind of throughout the movie, his his perspective of Ted or his his stepdad, it definitely changes. Um, but towards the beginning, he really has that has a hard time with the acceptance of his mom's new boyfriend. And I think the reason is is because it, it's a new it, there's a new man in his mom's life, and it's kind of just been him and his mom for like I mean the majority of his life, and he wants to keep it that way, and it's it's tough for him to think about giving more attention or his mom giving more attention to his stepdad, Ted. And I think that Harold really helps him realize like that it's, it's okay. And I need to accept him for who he is because you should never judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, over the course of the movie, um, Amy or Sophia and Phil really helped me realize that I need to accept Ted. I love uh, the triumvirate, if you will, that trio friendship is so lovely. Yeah. <laughs> um, Malachi, what lesson or message would you take away for Harold from the film? What is the journey he goes through? I mean, not Malachi, sorry. I just know. Oh, that. Phil. I was like, <laughs> why I was would like... I ask Malachi that? <laughs> Phil. <laughs> I think uh, obviously, you know, he, Harold comes off very ferocious in the beginning and uh, the kids don't know uh, how in tune Harold is emotionally with everything. Um, I think it helps the viewer realize that obviously you can't judge a book by its cover and overcoming your fears is really another big one. Um, and I think Harold teaches the kids that, look, I don't really have to speak your language to understand what you're going through. I don't really have to do what you do to actually have fun as well. You know, we can all have fun together. And I think Harold displays that throughout the movie. Oh, I love that. So mm -hmm. overcome your fears and don't judge a book by its cover. Very good lessons to learn. 
<laughs> I obviously, because I'm old, grew up with uh, the Disney Channel original movies. Are there any others that you guys really enjoy outside of Under Wraps? Wow. Wow. Uh, I thought I thought Zombies was good. Mm -hmm. Zombies was good. I like that 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 one. I like that. Yeah. Um. I would definitely have to say either the Desc the Descendants franchise or um, High School Musical. Oh, I guess High School Musical does count. Oh, there you go. I love that. High Dating school. myself, I'll be like model behavior. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying about High School Musical? Um, yeah, so I, I think High School Musical, it's, it's, it's a classic, but like also not a classic at the same time. It, it's, it's, it's a really great film. And I, you know. Modern well, classic. Right. Modern classic. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, thank you both so much. You guys were fabulous. And I cannot wait for everyone to enjoy Under Wraps once again in a new and different flavor. <laughs> thank you so much.